Yo, 107.5 WGCI, the shot's number one for hip-hop and R&B. We in the building right now. It's your boy, the shortest damn man on the radio, Kyle Santillian. And uh, right now, I'm going to let these brothers introduce themselves, man. But you got to understand that Buffalo's finest is in the building. Hip-hop is in the building, and it's going down right now. It's an honor to have y'all here representing the whole Griselda camp. But please introduce yourselves to everybody listening right now, bro. Hey, yo, it's Benny the Butcher, Big Griselda Records, Big BSF. The Butcher coming. Like yeah. my boy said, man, representing Griselda Records. Ah. Yeah. Tamer the Stammer, Big BSF. No coming, holding it down from the east side of Buffalo, man. No question, no question. I got to shout out my bro, uh, d Nats is in the building, too. What up, bro? Yes, indeed. You know, I um, just built a relationship with my brother, Benny the Butcher. He bringing real hip-hop back. You know, I saw you bumping it in the car. You see me, I though, right? I had to put the play together. You know, <laughs> you, you, see know, me man, though, right? you can't call yourself a big homie in the city or, or a person that's that's honorable in our city and not use your relationships for the Thanks. benefit of the whole, not just yourself. No question. All right, so let's start with you, Benny, man. You're here. You're representing the whole campus in town in Chicago, putting it down. Y'all, yes, your brothers is coming out right now. They're really, like, the hottest in the streets right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know, like... You know, we work, I, I, right now we're in a radio station, right? Mm -hmm. And I understand that there's radio music and then there's street music. Right. And I feel like right now, y'all got the street music on lock. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, when I'm on the phone with my people and we talk, we talking about Griselda Records. Right, right, you right. You know what I mean? So, let's talk a little bit about just how it feels to be in that space right now and kind of have having that hold on the game. Man, it feels dope. It feels like <clears throat> it was always meant to be. And uh, with, with hard work. But hard work and you know I'm saying constantly getting better in the relationships, you know what I'm saying? Uh that we that we garnered on this path. That's why it's that's why it's like that. That's why it looked the way it looked, the authenticity. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You know, we rock nation. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we got all the cosigns from all the legends. So, Facts. you know, that means a lot, you know what I mean? Because when the last time dudes like uh Hove or Kiss or Nas, you know what I'm saying? When the last time dudes like that told you I mean, the locks, all of them, told you, like, yo, these are the next boys. You know Facts. what I'm saying? They haven't done that in a while, so, you know what I'm saying? We take that very serious. So that definitely played a, played a part in it. When we when you talk about street music, the authenticity comes first. Facts. I want to just go back a little bit for the people that are not familiar, man. Taking y'all back a few years, y'all started Griselda independently mm -hmm. out of Buffalo, New York. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? And y'all was, from what I understand, y'all was selling music out the trunk, basically, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, whatever mm -hmm. that might be. Like, how long did that go? How did that come together? Like, what kind of inspired y'all independent move? Uh, just... The, uh, the hunger to want it for ourselves and wanted to do it our way, you know what I'm saying? Because we from a place where nobody never came out of uh, as far as hip-hop. Right. And so we always wanted to do it our way. We didn't want to sound like uh, Atlanta. We didn't want to sound like the West Coast or whatever. We just wanted to continue to be us and, and, and do what we wanted to do off of it. And Wes, Wes is, a, is a visionary, you know what I'm saying? And Conway is the general. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just running point and following suit. I'm doing my part because once everybody play their part on the team, you good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just playing my part, playing my role, and and we stuck to our guns. You know what I'm yes. saying? And, and, and we and we grew a fan base off the quality material. Yes. When I'm talking far as the music, the the, the lyrics, the beats, and, and and far as the merch, the clothing, everything is quality, and we stuck by the product. You know what I'm saying? And look where we at today. Yeah, because y'all was doing your independent grind for a while, and then, you know, obviously I got to the point where y'all was making so much noise, I had so much of a following, mm -hmm. that y'all got distribution at that point from Shady Records, Eminem and them signed on. Like, how did that how did that come about? Mm, see, Wes, Wes was already uh, linked with artists like Danny Brown, Action Bronson, who was signed to uh, Goliath yeah. uh, Management, which is owned by Paul Rosenberg. Okay. So him and Paul was going back and forth about management, but it uh, ultimately grew into a record deal okay. with uh, Shady Interscope with Griselda. You feel what I'm saying, and, and I'm signed. I'm signed to Griselda. You know what I'm saying. I'm still. A, I'm still a free agent. You know, I see people. I know people see me out here doing all of this, man. I I, I do this without a record, without a major label. Mm. You feel what I'm saying, without no nothing. So it's like I'm. I'm kind of still selling music out the trunk until one of these labels uh cash me out a big bag. And you talking about as far as like um, the Betty the Butcher independent project? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying, and that's also part of the formula. That's how we can control the streets. And that was done uh, purposely, where they go and do the major thing, and uh, me, I stay free, where I could drop music at will, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That was done strategically. So, man, it's like, and when it got to the point where uh, he did uh, the deal with Shady, you know, just just doors start opening, and, and, and we took advantage of all those opportunities, 
and we perform when the lights was on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell people you got to perform when the lights was on. Nice. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, James Harden, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm using him as an example when a dude like James Harden go out and drop. 60 points on a, on just on a regular season game, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. It's more important when he do it in the playoffs, though. Right. And every time it was playoff time, you know what I'm saying, we was dropping 60 points. So the people took notice of that. No doubt. So y'all did that. Y'all get to deal with Shady Records. Then at some point, Rock Nation, Jay-Z, and them coming to the picture. Now y'all part of Rock Nation is they your management team, correct? Mm-hmm. That's right. a fact. So they, they they putting y'all out there in places y'all been maybe not reaching before. How does that work as far as their end of and their involvement in what y'all doing? It's like this. It's like... We we've been going back and forth, uh, kicking it with like with, with staff at the Rock Nation, staff at Rock Nation for like what two three years, man. Shout out Law, shout out M, man. Shout out Tata, shout out everybody over there, man. Shout out my boy Sam Flood. I got him in here right now. All right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Chase, Hip Hop, Hank. But we've been going back and forth with them for a while because actually the deal was was gonna go over there. You know what I'm saying? Before it went to Shady Inner School. Okay. Uh, it was gonna go over there, but with with. With us at this new height, with as uh, far as popularity and attention, it was it was also right that Rock Nation jumped in at the right time yeah. and made the moves that they make and did the things that they do, and you know what I'm saying, and it, and it all gelled together. You know Facts. what I'm saying? I love the fact that Jay, as an individual, um, has garnered so much success on the streets and commercially as an artist, mm-hmm. but Rock Nation as a company still has their pulse, their hand on the pulse exactly. of what's happening in the streets. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And as far as like ground level. Or organic hip hop, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Whether it's you, whether it was the Nipsey situation, mm-hmm. or whoever it may be, you know what I mean. Right, I always right, love right. to see that. So and, that's, and, and you know that was surprising to me because, you know, what I'm saying I'm just a kid out of Buffalo. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and who would have thought that these dudes, these higher ups, is paying attention to the music, and let alone they yeah. want to help you. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to work with you. So, man, shout out to Hov, man. Shout out to everybody who, 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 who reaching back, man, grabbing and pulling kids up, man, because right. we need that. So let's talk about the music for a minute, man. We talked mm-hmm. about the backstory a little bit. But when I listen to, you know, all of you guys as a group or individually, the music takes me to a place where, you know, I know y'all get a lot of comparisons to like Wu Tang mm-hmm. and that era of music. It's it's really, I feel like a lot of the beats are stripped down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of the beats have that real that soul in them. Um, and it just gives you that real grittiness that has been missing from hip hop over the years, and it definitely stands out from what's quote unquote popular right, right, right now. Right. So, what are y'all musical influences like when you're sitting down to write a write a track or whatever the case may be? Like, where are y'all drawn from in that in that space? Uh, man, <clears throat> definitely uh, the 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 mid '90s. Me, I'm the mid '90s to the early 2000s era. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's what I'm influenced off the most, and uh, you know West. He uh he like early '90s era, you know what I'm saying? Conway, he he just he is just like everything. Then you got Derringer. See, that's what it really is. It's it's, it's the production. Right. He uh, nice yeah. with it. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely come from the uh the classes from the RZA's, the Alchemists, Facts. the Jay Dillas. You know what I'm saying? He definitely come from that class. And it's about it's about uh the beats that evoke emotion out the artist. And we only and it's only right that that we put pain on the beats because like. We are, we well to me. We we kind of like entering. We kind of leaving out of the radio era mm-hmm. right now because you got dudes like me and there's so many other dudes with with, uh, with talent who who not pursuing the radio uh the radio wave. They doing it through the streets. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Or the internet or whatever. Exactly. What are the avenues are available? Yeah, yeah. It, it was almost like a few years ago they was like telling you that you had to have a radio record, but you know what I'm saying that don't that don't apply to the game no more. And uh. With just the way that uh, Derringer make those beats, like how you you, you only could get on those records and talk one way. You know <laughs> right. You could get on those records and talk one way. And, right. And me, I just try to pull from emotion and, and, and about what I've been through because, man, even though it's like people listen to my music, even though it sounds like, yo, man, you heard what he says, like really, like everybody been through that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the only one going through those things, and and I like to say I'm one of the most relatable rappers you gonna come across, man. You know right. What I'm one thing also just about y'all, you know, like you said earlier, like nobody that we know of in the hip-hop game came out of Buffalo, New York, mm-hmm. right? And y'all talk about a lot of street situations in y'all music. And one thing I've said, like, you know, being here in Chicago, uh, coming to Chicago from North Carolina, uh, growing up in New Jersey, being born in Philadelphia, my whole thing is that I see that us as black, as black people, us as people in the, in the hood or whatever the case may be, however you want to categorize it, 
we're dealing with the same thing in mm-hmm. all of our cities. So right, right. there's a relatability there. Mm-hmm. Regardless, you might say, yo, I've never been to Buffalo, but I understand what he's talking about. Exactly. I see what he's saying through the music. You know what I mean? So pay, just tell me a little bit just about Buffalo and where you guys are coming from. <laughs> and that influence other streets, but not just the streets, because I don't want to get into that mm-hmm. whole you know, over stereotype thing. But right, y'all do right, come right. from a background that y'all express in y'all music. Yeah, you know, Buffalo is like a, uh, it's a blue collar city. You know what I'm saying? I had this conversation with people all the time. It's like, uh, it's, 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 it's a small town, but to, compared to other small towns, it's bigger. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of pain there from, uh, from the low employment rate. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it's really, and it's really, it's just nothing there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for us, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like to describe it. It ain't for us. If you, if you, if you like a, like a white person and you want to come to Buffalo and live, and, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a beautiful place. Right. And I say it like that. I, I, I say the race thing like that because, you know, you know, black people, we, we like to do certain things. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And there's, there's no clubs open there for us. You know why? Because because the knuckleheads shoot them up. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and there's no hip hop outlets there for us. You know why? Because there's no hope. Nobody never seen uh, nobody never seen what Griselda doing. Nobody home never seen it. Cause how you going? How you going to tell them to believe in something that they never saw? Mm-hmm. How you going to tell them to believe in a ghost? They never seen nobody be successful with the music. So there's really no hope there. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just far behind. You know what I mean? We don't really. It's not a lot of stores there. You know, people like to wear the designer. There's no stores like that. It's, it's just not for us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and I just think that. What we doing, bringing hope and it's bringing, uh, what word I'm looking for, it's bringing like pride to the city. Because now people speak about the city uh, in a different way. You know what I'm saying? When, when people out of town, they first they ask them, they from Buffalo, like, yo, uh, you, you know Conway? You know West Side Gun? You know Benny? And, 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 they, and they speak about it with pride. And, and I think that's big, you know what I'm saying? Because you, it, it's psychologically, everything play a part in it. Like the four Super Bowls that we took, <laughs> yeah. that plays a part in it, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to bring that up, but yeah. since you brought it up, I mean, you know what I mean? Bring it up. Back to back, to back to back, you know that's what I mean? Real. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's hurt <laughs> in the middle of that. So, yeah. it's like, man, you know, I just feel like, man, my people back home just need something to believe in. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and and they haven't had nothing to believe in in a minute. Because Buffalo, one of those places, is, is the first thing you do when you get successful, you get out of there. Right. That's what I'm saying? Right. That's dope you said that because um, a lot of these kids can't be what they can't see. Mm-hmm. So when you never seen it, you never seen ownership in your community you, that looks like you. You never seen an artist come from the community that looks like you and not just leave and coming back. Dude, I see him all the time. He in the trenches in the city. He yeah. always going back. And that's another, that's a thing that I say about here in Chicago. We don't, we, we get the treasure, but we leave and then our kids don't get to see the race. They don't get to see the right. the, the, the Bentleys. They don't get mm-hmm. to see the Rolls truck coming through. Right. You know, the jewelry, the right. real jewelry. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you can run up to Benny in Buffalo and you're a kid and you young and you touch these jewels and they, these don't look like other right. people's jewels. It's inspiration. Like, you know, this right. is like, this is real. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes it, it makes your dream reality. That's right. a fact. You know, when you can touch, that's why those kids in Atlanta and LA are so successful because mm-hmm. the Gucci mans and them, they they, 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 they touch yeah. this right, right, and right. they know, yeah, we can do it. And that's why they so eager and geeked about it. Now that's a fact. Because right. they touching it all the time. With that being said, though, and the inspiration that you guys have been providing as Griselda now, is there a whole camp of guys behind y'all ready to go in Buffalo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this, this dude right here, yeah. Yeah, he next. Now nah, it's the biggest I'm motivation, big bro. I'm going to tell y'all boys from the heart, it, I heart radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heart radio. Nah, yeah. Right, though, it's, well, introduce man. yourself again for me, bro. I'm Hamer the Steamer, man. BSF, you know what I mean? Yeah. One of the gunners, man. I'm coming with everything I got in the clip, you know? But like I said, Buffalo, it definitely ain't nothing to look forward to out there, you know what I mean? Besides these boys, I mean, giving us the platform to walk on. Yeah. Man, ain't nothing to look up we, to but Big Brad down the right, street, right, you know what right. I mean? Who on the block. That's, that's all we see. Right. That's all we see. Right. Homicide, right. Violence, right. violence, you know what I mean? Just like this. And yeah. I got my boy. We, we take dudes like this, man, not to put his business out there, straight out the trenches, though, on right. tour. Straight out the trenches into interviews like that. You feel what I'm saying? You know, so when he go back home, you know how his people looking at him like, yo, I see you on tour tonight. Right. They giving him, and that's a whole nother, like, a Paying channel. Paying forward, mo- Yeah, motivation. Yeah. Word. Make him believe, yeah. though. Word. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I appreciate just what y'all doing from a musical standpoint, just as a squad. Uh, and individually, mm-hmm. Griselda is just is fire right now. That's what everybody talking about. Cool. Um, just from now, 
it, what is what's the next goal, right? Because everybody's going to continue to grow. Uh -huh. You guys are at this space right now. You're touring. The, the recent project just came out towards the end of the last year. Mm -hmm. What's next for y'all as a group and individually? Like, is there a blueprint laid out? Y'all following the plan? Where you, where you taking the next? Uh, right now, through 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 everything, man, we chasing levels. Anything we already accomplished, we trying to accomplish higher than that. Mm -hmm. Like, me, my personal goal is, man. I need me. A, I need. I need a. I need a plaque. You know what I'm saying? Right. I need a plaque. I need in at one of these award shows, these Grammy shows. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, man, uh, we 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 feel like we don't gotta conform to nothing. We feel like we could be ourselves and still make it there. I know Wes is still pushing the envelope and the culture with his with his uh, with his clothing line. He got the fourth rope. He got the uh, fashion rebels thing, and, and he curating businesses. And virus like. Bring other how I bring him, he bring other artists to it. Working with Boldy James and uh, he about to do the uh, tape with Mad Lib and, and Conway just doing the same thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He about to drop his uh, his solo debut this year. Okay. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We just got a lot of business on the table that we just taking care of. I'm about to go on the tour with Russ, just expanding our audience okay. and pushing the brand further. You know what I'm saying? And, and more awareness about it. Cause do, do you get do you get any label pressure to? Uh Commercialize anything at all, or are people just like, no, nah, this is what the brand is. Let it rock how it rock. Uh, not that you succumb to it, but are people trying to come at you like, yo, we need? Yeah, people do that all the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People do that all the time. Really not, really not from the label or nothing, because everybody we uh, do business with, they believe in the formula. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they just letting us, uh, they just letting us do what we need to do, and they just, you know, sitting back managing it. But uh, yeah, people tell me that all the time. Yo, you think yo? I think you need to do a record with such and such. I think you need to do a record with this. I think you need to do a record with that. Yeah. But when I I talk to these dudes, like when I uh, do records with Russ, you know what I'm saying? We we spitting bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Meek sent me a record. We spitting bars. Drake sent me a record. We spitting we spitting bars. Yeah. Those dudes, I got a whole uh, album that I done with Hit Boy. You know what I'm saying? The street music. I got a whole album I done with Harry Fraud. The street music. So the people who 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 helping us curate these projects. They, they they get it, you know what I'm saying? They not hit boy could he could he work with all type of artists. He could easily say like, yo, I want you to do this type of. I mean, people don't come at me like that because right. they believe in what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Facts, no doubt. Well, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, I appreciate y'all taking the time to come up and holler at me about it this morning. Um, just leave something for the people watching this video, listening right mm -hmm. now, man. What is it that y'all want to leave with the people that are are tuning in? Man, I want to leave with the people that, man, we love y'all, man. Y'all the reason why we're here. Keep supporting, keep pushing it forward, and don't ever think that you can't do it. I'm a three-time fella, and I'm up here, man, and, <laughs> and then my life just started, man. I'm in my 30s, and it feel like my life just started, and I get so much love from Chicago. I can't even believe it, man. Like, real, real, genuine love. My first show here, man, like, it was dudes at the merch table just giving me advice, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of OGs <laughs> in this town. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's, right. You know what I mean? It's a lot of OGs in this town who, who you could tell that you could tell that the city kind of went a different way, and that's why they see all the young boys and they grab them and they pull them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, man, I, I appreciate that, man. I feel like this, you know what I'm saying, one of, one of my homes, man, and, I appreciate everybody. No doubt, man. Appreciate the time, man. It's been a pleasure. You already know what it is, man. Benny the Bitcher representing the whole ah. Zelda crew. You see what it is, man. GCI.